So we got uh, Carl Karapkin here for Adobe, and he's uh, VP of OEM Solutions, and he's going to go over the uh, OEM prototype uh, PC over here. Carl? Great. Uh, it's good to be here. Um, so I'm Vice President of OEM Solutions. What we're doing is we're taking the Toby Core technology, and we're working with device manufacturers and embedding it into consumer devices, ultrabooks, tablets, PCs, all at once, so that consumers will now have experience of eye tracking embedded into devices. We also work with content developers, independent software vendors, creating new games and desktop experiences based on eye tracking. Yeah, great. Get, uh, can we get a little demo here? The first thing I'm going to do here is out of the box is a very quick calibration. And I'll just need to follow the dots here. And by doing that, the device becomes uh, calibrated to my uh, to my uh, vision here. And I need to just do this once. So if I'm a consumer, I buy this device, I get out of the box, I do a one-time calibration, and then it knows it's my device. So the eye tracker is built into the hinge here. As you can see, it's, uh, it's built into the, the profile of the, of the hinge. So now what's happened is with the eye tracking built in, I can look at things on the screen and they become interactive just by with my with my gaze point. So I'm looking up at the Apple icon. I'm looking over at the weather. Those things are programmed now to say, hey, when I'm looked at, give the user more information. Now I'm now glancing down at the clock. I don't need to control this anymore with the mouse. I need to touch the keypad. I don't need to touch anything. It's completely interactive through my eyes. So well, the other thing I can do here is I have uh, with Windows 8, integrated with Windows 8. I'm looking at the Internet Explorer icon, and I can select that. And I turn on automatic scrolling. As I read the text, you can see that it's following where I'm reading, and it's actually automatically scrolling up and down. And I don't need to actually grab a mouse anymore. I don't need to go this like this with the touchpad. It's very seamless. It's very powerful. It's very interactive. It's very natural. I can also select other things on the screen. For instance, I'm looking at maps. I select the Maps application. I can use the touchpad to zoom in and out on the map, but you can see, I'm looking up to the upper right-hand corner, the map starts zooming where I'm looking. I don't need to actually move my fingers left and right, up and down. I just need to actually scroll, and it's very naturally and very fluidly following where I look. I'll go back to the desktop again. And... Um, What we put here is off to the right, you see there's a little media player that comes up. So I don't actually need to just have icons on the screen anymore. They can be out in the environment in front of me wherever I'm looking. So it creates a very natural, very intuitive interface for the user. See, I'm actually... So actually what I've done is I've put an icon off to the, off to the left, and I can look over, and I don't have to touch any keys, and I don't have to touch the touchpad. I can drive it completely with my eyes. So what happens here is that now, through eye tracking, opens up the visual interactivity to things that are outside of the screen. So if I have another application here and I'm busy working on it, I don't need to clutter the screen with things. I kind of just look out in space in front of me and see those icons pop up automatically. Over to the right here, I put a media player. I see that popped up. So off to the left, I'm looking at this camera roll, and I just pull these uh, pictures up very naturally. Again, just completely all through my eyesight. Of course, I can do that in combination, again, with touching keys. It could be with gesture. It could be with voice. But the whole point is that it all starts with what I look at. And eye tracking is very foundational. It really establishes the, the intimate visual connection with, between you and the user and the device through your eyes. Uh, right now, what uh, companies are you dealing with right now that are looking into uh, Toby? Well, we are, we're in discussions with the, uh, the major device manufacturers, uh, the manufacturers that make everything from all-in-ones to ultrabooks to smartphones and tablets. Um, we haven't made any uh, specific announcements just yet, but people should stay tuned and uh, look for us at CES and uh, learn further. Sounds great. Thanks, Carl.